So unfortunately, it seems like there is still total chaos behind the scenes at OpenAI. There are a couple of articles that I do want to go through and a couple of tweets that many people did unfortunately miss that clearly do showcase that something at OpenAI just isn't right. So this video will dive into all the small details that you may have missed. So be sure to stick around to the end because the story is rather fascinating. So one of the first things that you may have actually missed was that Ilya Sutskva actually tweeted something and then deleted it. And it was quite a cryptic tweet. So he tweeted this saying that I learned many lessons in this past month. One such lesson is that the phrase, the beatings will continue until morale improves, applies more often than it has any right to. And this tweet is rather interesting because not only is this tweet pretty cryptic, he actually deleted it around two hours later, which is why if you do go onto Twitter, you can't actually find this out. And there's a little bit more information that we will talk about later on in the video. But essentially, this tweet in relation to the alleged events at OpenAI, the phrase, the beatings will continue until morale improves, is pretty sarcastic and is used to highlight the counterproductive or absurd nature of trying to improve a situation with negative or punitive measures. It's often used to criticize management practices that are harsh or ineffective, suggesting that such methods are unlikely to achieve the desired outcome of improved performance or morale. We're currently guessing that it could imply his criticism or disillusionment with the way things were being handled within the organization that is OpenAI, and it does suggest a belief that the methods being used were not only ineffective, but making the situation worse. However, we don't actually have more context on this direct situation. So without more context and without more direct statements, we aren't really going to know exactly what is going on. The only thing that does make this truly concerning is the fact that this tweet was deleted. Now, the tweet could have been deleted for one of two reasons. Either one, Ilya regretted treating this out. Or number two, he was told to do so by his lawyer because for whatever reason, as we'll talk about later on in the video, Business Insider shows us that Ilya Satskova has actually hired a lawyer. And one thing that you do know is that usually when there are lawyers involved, you don't usually want to be stating things when there's an ongoing case, if there is one going on at all. So because of this deleted tweet, many would believe or be led to believe that Ilya Sutskova is definitely in some kind of situation at OpenAI. But it was earlier on in the month that we did get this tweet of Ilya Sutskova and Greg Brockman. Now, the article that I'm about to show you it does showcase a very different story because as of, you know, just a couple of days ago, we did get information that Elias Satskova's position at OpenAI isn't going too well and there's tons of information to support that. So you can see here it says OpenAI co-founder Elias Satskova has become invisible at the company with his future uncertain insiders say. And this just comes after a few days after Ilya Sutskiver tweeted that first thing that we did see. And then of course he deleted it. So the article goes on to read, Ilya Sutskiver's huge contributions to OpenAI may not make up for his role in Sam Altman's firing. His position has yet to be officially addressed at OpenAI and there are signs of an ongoing tumult. Sutskiver has also hired his own lawyer, and Ilya Sutskova's art hangs on OpenAI's often walls even as he's become invisible in the wake of Sam Altman's return. It continues to state that the chief scientist and co-founder behind some of OpenAI's biggest breakthroughs in generative AI, who played a key role in the shocking November board ouster of CEO and co-founder Altman, has not been seen at the company in San Francisco offices this week, according to two people familiar with the company. Business Insider spoke to three people familiar with Sutskova's visibility at the company since the drama ended, plus two people familiar with those involved. They requested anonymity because they are not authorized to discuss internal matters. Their identities are known to Insider. So essentially, this part is truly concerning because they state that Ilya Sutskova hasn't been seen at the company's San Francisco's offices this week. So that means either Ilya Sutskova has taken time off, either he's quit, or something is going wrong because when you have such a key integral part of OpenAI who isn't actually at the offices, that is not something you want to see, especially after this entire situation with the board just went down. And especially on top of that, you do have Ilya Satskova tweeting stuff and then deleting it. So it's clear that maybe he wants to say something, but either can't say it due to legal reasons 
or is clearly trying to get a message across. Now, later on in the video, we will discuss Sam's official statement to Ilya Satskova because he does actually talk about Ilya's role within OpenAI and what he will be doing. The article goes on to read that while Satskova remains in company systems like Slack and his presence is discernible through his drawings and paintings used as decor, his present and future at OpenAI has yet to be addressed officially by leadership, another person said. Ilya is always going to have had an important role, one person said, but you know, there are a lot of people who are picking up and taking that responsibility that historically Ilya had. So it seems from the first part of this statement that whatever roles Ilya Satskova did have at OpenAI, other people are starting to pick up those roles and responsibilities, which means that, of course, it's clear that Ilya Satskova's role at OpenAI might be uncertain. Now, we do also know that right now we are at a very important period during the year where there isn't probably going to be as much work coming on because, of course, we do have a lot of holidays. We do also know that it is going to be 2024 very, very soon. So could it be that Ilya Satskova is about to leave for another company moving into 2024? Or is there going to be some other internal discussions made that would lead Ilya Satskova to finally be figuring out exactly where he's going to be working or cementing his position within the company so that things do get back to normal. You can see that the article continues to state here, another person said that there's some discussion happening that Satsava will get a new title at the company and that there's a desire to find a role for him. And then it also references a smiling photo posted to Twitter last month of Satsava with co-founder and president Greg Brockman, who was the first to quit with Sor who was the first to quit in solidarity with Altman. And there was a clear signal that they all want to get back to work. But of course, his position at the company is to be decided. So it's clear that right now, Ilya Satskova, unfortunately, seems like he's in limbo at work. And I don't think this is a good place to be when you are working at one of the most important companies in the world. Because if you are at a company like this, realistically, what you do want to be doing is you just want to either be working, you either want to be joining another company, or you ideally want to be contributing in some way. You don't really just want to not be sure where you are. And I'm pretty sure that right now, this is definitely a confusing and difficult time for Ilya Satskova. The article continues continues to state that this apparent state of limbo is not exactly surprising given Suskova's position at the company and his involvement in and his involvement in Outman's poorly justified firing it led to Brockman quitting and nearly every other OpenAI employee threatening to do the same if Outman was not reinstated and the board that fired him gone most of them are. Satskova was on that board too, but his importance and influence at the company, as well as his status as co-founder, is exponentially more than any of the other previous board members. And this is very, very true. Although some members of the previous board, like Helen Toner, amongst others, aren't as integral to the company, Elias Satskova, despite being on the board, he's really, really integral in terms of his work contributing to what OpenAI have done in terms of ChatGPT. So it's not like they could just get rid of him because he's really, really important to OpenAI. So that's why there's definitely this strange area where half of the people I'm guessing might be thinking that the entire board should be gone. But of course, on the other side, you have the fact that Elias Satskova is definitely part of the company. The article continues to state here that another sign is that Elias Satskova has hired his own lawyer in Alex Weingarten of Wilkie, Farr and Gallagher, who chairs its litigation practice, as Business Insider previously reported. White Garden did not respond to Business Insider's request for comment on this story. He previously told us that Ilya wants what's best for the company. So it seems that because Ilya Satskova's lawyer is telling them, look, right now it's a pretty difficult time. The only thing that Ilya can say is that he wants what is best for the company. And it will be interesting to see what kind of route they go down. Now, the article continues to state that Satskova is a very deep person emotionally and intellectually. And one of the people familiar with the matter, that's what they said. And they said he's someone who may not seem fully present in the moment, but he's just processing things differently. And what was fascinating to me was that Another person familiar described Satskova in simple terms as someone who thinks of himself as an AI god and who became frustrated at being pushed out of decisions regarding ChatGPT5 and plans to scale the product and company. So we can see here that what they were developing was GPT-5. And although they may, may not have meant to say this, but this is clearly some kind of 
extra information that we did get. We do know that they are actually working on GPT-5 due to Sam Altman's statements recently, and we did make a video on the GPT-5 announcement, but we can see now that, of course, ChatGPT-5 being pushed is clearly something that sparked this entire thing to be even worse. And, of course, scaling the company was something that I guess that they didn't want. It also goes on to state that Sutskova is seen internally as an AI visionary, and while his academic style did not win much loyalty from engineers as Altman and Brockman, Sutskova's contributions are still widely respected by many employees. Now, this is where the article references the fact that Sam Altman, in a statement after his return to the company, said that he has no ill will towards Ilya and wanted to continue working relationship with him. He also did admit to The Verge being hurt and angry, and this is presumably because the firing to Altman was actually pretty much a shock. It's not like they had a meeting. He just woke up one morning, and then, of course, he was pretty much out. And he actually does talk about that in a interview with Trevor Noah. It's actually really cool. I might include a clip from it on this channel, but I'm not sure due to copyright. And then this is, of course, a very interesting take, and I do think that this is quite true, but it will be dependent on how people do perceive certain issues because one Microsoft insider familiar with Altman, Sutskiver, and Brockman doesn't believe that the three can ever work together well again because Tutskova and Brockman, as it says here in Silicon Valley, founders turning on one another is, co is considered sacrilege. Likewise, some of OpenAI's engineers who are loyal to Altman and Brockman may also find it difficult to work with Sutskova because of his role in the outster affloy a former employee said. Once trust is broken, the former staffer said, it cannot be regained. And this is quite true in terms of many things. But is that going to be the case that we do have now, where Ilya Satskova is unable to work in OpenAI due to certain issues? Now, many people might be speculating where Ilya Satskova is going to go next, and this is, of course, where Elon Musk comes in, because Elon Musk wants OpenAI's Ilya Satskova to come and work with him again, this time at X.AI. So, previously, Elon Musk and Ilya Satskova did actually work together before, and what was interesting was that Musk and Altman, who were working together at OpenAI, actually stole Satskova from Google in 2020. 15 to co-found OpenAI. And it says here that Elias Satskova's future is uncertain at OpenAI after helping to out Sam Altman. And Elon Musk has suggested that Satskova could come work with him again. So it says here, Elias Satskova faces an uncertain future at the company after participating and later regretting the board's ouster of Sam Altman in November. And the insiders told Business Insider on Saturday that Satskova in is in a state of limbo at the company. And the leadership has yet to address his future. And of course, he's no longer a member of OpenAI's board. And essentially, now this is really, really fascinating stuff here because there are two important points that I do want you guys to see. And essentially, it says that on December the 9th, one person wrote on X, formerly Twitter, that Satskova should work at Tesla. And the post actually did get a response from Elon Musk, who is also a former OpenAI board member. And he basically just responded saying he should work at X.AI. And then in an interview with CNBC in May, Musk actually described Satskova as the linchpin of OpenAI's success. And in the context of this statement, Elon Musk referring to Elias Satskova as the linchpin of OpenAI's success essentially means that Musk considers Satskova to be an extremely important or essential part of OpenAI's achievement and progress. The term linchpin is often used metaphorically to describe a person or thing that holds various elements of a complex system together, suggesting that without them, the system would not function as effectively or might even fall apart. Thus, Musk comments implies that in his views, Satskova's contributions, skills or leadership are central and vital to the success of OpenAI. Now, what was also fascinating here, the second point that I really did want to drive home was that you can see that after OpenAI's board fired Sam Altman, Musk actually defended Ilya Satskova on Twitter, stating that Ilya has a good moral compass and does not seek power. He would not take such drastic action unless he felt it was absolutely necessary. And Saskiva did not immediately respond to a request for comment that Business Insider sent, but whatever reasons there may be. So it was clear that Elon Musk has defended Ilya Saskiva's action, stating that even if Ilya Saskiva did have a reason to take Sam Altman out of the company, it most likely was a reason that was good. And of course, we do need to know what that reason is, because currently everyone else, the entire world, is in a state of limbo. Because you have to think about it like this. If Ilya Satskova, a member of the board, decided that outing someone who he's been working on in a company with for a couple of years isn't a major red flag, it should be for the rest of us because that clearly means that he saw something or something was done 
that clearly needed to be addressed. And of course, here we do have the statement that Sam Altman released where he's essentially saying that I love and respect Ilya. I think he's the guiding light of the field and a gem of a human being. And of course, he's no longer going to serve on the board. And we are discussing how he can continue his work at OpenAI. Now, what was also interesting was that there have been more details emerged about Sam Altman's ousting at OpenAI. And a new report suggests Altman may have at times been a manipulative leader. And apparently, Altman pitted board members and employees against one another to maintain power the report say of course once again this is all speculation i will leave a link to all the articles in the description below and this is where this final article comes into play because it does give us a very interesting insight into what we are looking at and right here you can see that it says we now have more info on what sam altman did that was so bad he got fired from OpenAI. and it says a new detail suggests that sam altman used his power to manipulate board members at OpenAI. and i want to read this article with you really quickly because it's really shocking at some of the details that we did see here especially some of the ones that i didn't expect so within this article there are mainly three sections the first one that we have here is altman versus toner and essentially it talks about how altman didn't always see eye to eye with the board member helen toner and then of course essentially they published a paper that not only praised OpenAI's rival Anthropic for delaying the release of its chatbot, but also criticized the frantic corner cutting of the release of ChatGPT. And then essentially Sam Altman called the toner about the paper and said it could cause problems with the Federal Trade Commission, which was already investigating OpenAI. Then of course, Toner offered to write an apology to OpenAI's board, but Altman later already emailed executives and told them he had reproached Toner and said, I did not feel we're on the same page about damage at all times and essentially their clash may have led Altman to sow tensions between Tona and another board member then of course we have Altman calling other board members and telling them that Macaulay wanted Tona off the board and people with both knowledge of the discussions told the times and then of course Macaulay later said that this was absolutely false when board members ask her about the incident then of course we have some interesting insights here where it says Altman versus Sutskova and apparently Altman and Sutskova actually already had a strained relationship due to differences in their ideological beliefs. And it says here that Sutskova was seen within OpenAI as a visionary with an academic approach that necessarily didn't go over well with an engineer such as Altman. And those and that he worried that Altman was pushing OpenAI to develop the technologically too rapidly and wanted to take a more cautious approach. Over the time, Sutskova had become frustrated with being pushed out of decisions about GPT-5 and plans to scale the product and the company. And then, of course, tensions came to a head in October when Altman promoted a researcher to a level equivalent to Sutskova. And then Sutskova saw it as a snub to his own standing in the company and in protest said to the other board members that he might quit. Then it says that some of the board's six members at the time filed Altman to be disingenuous and a bit too calculating. Several of them had backgrounds in nonprofit or academia, and Altman's move fast and break things tech executive approach didn't necessarily sit well with them. They felt Sam had lied, a person familiar with the board's decisions told the New Yorker, and they dreaded Altman's tactics so much that when they began talking about removing him, they were intent on ensuring it would be a surprise. It says here that it was clear that as soon as Sam knew, he'd do anything he could to undermine the board, and in a meeting with OpenAI staff two nights after Sam Altman was ousted, Sutskova said one explanation he had received from the board for Altman's dispersal was that Altman had given two board members two different opinions about a member within the organization, sources familiar with the meeting previously told Business Insider. And the other explanation that Sutskova offered was that Altman was said to have given the same project to two different people in the organization. And Altman also didn't deny that he struggled with the board before his ousting, and it's clear that there were real misunderstandings between me and members of the board. It basically finishes up by saying that the fact that Altman was so quickly reinstated as CEO suggests that none of these allegations were enough for the company's powerful backers, such as Microsoft. And Sutskova too had has expressed his regret over his actions. Still, the word on the street is that Altman may have got the message that it's time to remake his image. Either way, this goes to show us that right now it's a rather fascinating time to be in because currently there is still a little bit of unrest due to the fact that Elia Sutskova is still in limbo at OpenAI. Hopefully things do resolve. Maybe he might go to another company. He might go back to Google. But either way, this isn't going to be good for the development because Elia Sutskova is a key part of OpenAI.